Roger, it's good to have you. I know you heard the speech today. Um, I was just trying to compare it to what Lena Khan said earlier in the week, and it's hard to see a lot of white space between those two. I think that Apple is absolutely correct when it makes the point that exclusive control of the App Store is a good thing for consumers relative to privacy and security. Apple does a market-leading job in those areas. Where I think Tim Cook is making a terrible mistake is that he fails to recognize that the way Apple monetizes the App Store, the way that it, it enforces its own uh, payment systems and its own control of what app vendors can say to customers, that that is totally inappropriate and regulators are going to force change. And they only have one mechanism available, which is they can force Apple to adopt sideloading. They don't have a more nuanced way of dealing with this. If Apple were really on top of its game here, they'd be in there saying, okay, we recognize you want us to cut prices. We recognize you want us to allow alternate payment systems. But we need to maintain an exclusive app store. What is the deal we can cut with you? And people like me have been pushing Apple for the last year to make that deal. And sadly, so far, they're just not willing to do it. And I think that's a terrible mistake for Apple. And it's a, you know, as a shareholder, it really bothers me. Are you arguing then, Roger, that the the way in which he's been vociferous on privacy today is a is a distraction? Is he trying to call squirrel? Oh, no, I, I, to be clear, I think Tim Cook's position on this is absolutely correct as he frames it. But he's aligning, Carl, what I think is the issue that regulators are most focused on, which is, you know, Apple takes 30 percent of most of the transactions. They require you to buy this through their payment system. There are other ways to do that that would obviously be more competitive. In addition, Apple has its own apps in the App Store, and in some cases it promotes them to the detriment of, of competing products. And those are things regulators don't like. Both of those things should be on the table, and Apple should be willing to concede them in order to maintain the exclusivity, because the exclusivity is core to their brand. Privacy in particular, but also security, are Apple's primary advantages over Android. And if they have side loading, they're going to lose some of that. And that would be strategically a terrible error. Roger, you don't think that um, the resistance so far by Apple to, to doing just that, to essentially uh, start offering whatever concessions might be needed, uh, doesn't reflect the fact that Apple feels like its hand is relatively strong, whether legally or uh, making its case to regulators that, in fact, it is, you know, a friend of the important project of uh, maintaining privacy and choice? No, Mike, I think that's clearly how they're looking at it. I just think that they're going to lose this in Europe. And if they lose it in Europe, they effectively lose it globally. And so, to my mind, their one big hope was to cut a deal with U.S. regulators and then go to Europe and say, we have a deal. We'd like you to be part of this deal. And, you know, I wrote an open letter to Tim Cook, uh, I think, in Time magazine last summer about this exact issue, because in my mind, there was a moment in time when Congress in particular would have welcomed Apple as a partner in trying to implement antitrust things and privacy regulations. And Apple is not in the same class that Google and Facebook and TikTok are in, where they're really destroying the fabric of society. Apple should be willing to concede a little bit here in order to buy itself both the goodwill and I think a little bit of protection from other issues that might come up from a regulatory standpoint. Instead, they're approaching this in an absolute way. And I just think that is that is a very risky strategy because I think Europe is quite determined to allow side work. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.